Alrighty, homies. Guess where I am? Ludlow Cave. Made it. Had to hike in about a mile. And found some pretty cool graffiti in here. Pretty old stuff. I'll kind of get back here and show you. There's uh, one here, 1911. And I saw another one. Where was it? Where was it? Where was it? It's there's so much graffiti on here, it's hard to. It becomes like a big, weird puzzle. L. Anderson, 1916. I'm not sure about this one. It says, that sure looks like 1776 to me, but I don't know. I kind of doubt it. And I saw another one over here. It's 1928, right there. 1928, can't read the name. <coughs> There's uh, 12, 27, 1913. P.C. Penderson, 1227-1913, M. Penderson. There's supposed to be some, uh, what do you call it, Indian uh, pictographs or whatever, and also uh, Civil War graffiti, but I haven't seen that yet. It's hard to make stuff out in here. There's an alien, I think. This cave, I think if I read it goes back 300 feet. It just narrows down. I'm not, I'm not gonna go back there because I'm scared and I have to pee. We'll look around some more. Good place to hunker down. Look at the floor, it's pretty flat. I mean, relatively flat. Looks like it's probably new, newish. It's nice that you know people leave their names and stuff, but I don't know. It just gets kind of uh, that M. Peterson, twelve twenty-seven twenty thirteen, and PC. Peterson, Matt Peterson, 1914. See if I can make any more out. Uh, not really. So I had to hike about a mile to get here, but I, I could not geolocate this. So I had to talk to a local guy in a bar. He knew where it was. Most people in Buffalo never been here. So there it goes way back there. All right, I'm gonna head back to Buffalo and then uh, off to Camp Crook, then into Montana to the Tri-State Marker and then to Bowman probably, Bowman, North Dakota, which quite honestly is only like 25 miles from here, but it's going to take me about 100 to get there. I'm doing it the frostbite anyway. Alrighty. Cool. Update you soon.